Hi, this is Ole Soprani. Uh, I'm going to show you a simple setup for a lower third. Uh, it is based on a couple of uh, assets I have here. Uh, the first two, you can see down here, is like I use them as a background. I have two backgrounds. And on top of those backgrounds, I will be placing uh, this uh, PNG file. It's a reg regular PNG made in Photoshop. Um, we also have um, these bubbles. I'm gonna add them later. Uh, and we have like a sound file, an audio file. You can see here it says video layer. Casper is a video layer based system. It works like uh, this. If you imagine your eye looking down, what is this horrible eye? You have like layers in this way. Imagine the, like sheets or papers stacked on top of each other or like in Photoshop. What I have here is that I can place uh, like, I uh, oh, see this one, this video layer. I will put that in the bottom here, the first layer, layer one. On top of that layer, I will be adding some graphics, the, the Sputnik image you saw. And on top of that, I will be adding a video with some bubbles that animates. So we have like, this is a QuickTime file, this is a PNG, and this is another QuickTime file. You, you can mix as you wish between the layers. Uh, so I will be placing this on layer 1 and uh, the image on layer 10 and the movie on layer 11. You can choose anything as long as you th think in that way. And that the number starts and goes up to whatever you want. Depends on the machine. Okay. We start off with the video assets. Uh, at the moment they are just cutting like this, but I want them to mix so I can go in. First I tell it I want it on layer one, like this. Uh, and I want it to mix it in. And I want to mix it in during 12 frames. 12 frames like this makes in 12, 12 frames and I also want to loop it like this I do the same thing for the other video assets layer 1 makes 12 frames and loop okay so it be like this and when I start the other clip it mixes. It mixes on the same channel, on the same layer, so you can mix two video assets. Uh, it's good if it's if you use it as a video server. And we are looping them at the moment. Okay. On top of that, we will be placing this uh, graphics. It's like a PNG that I showed you. Showed you. And we also want to add some sound sound and in the end we will also want to have the bubbles as you saw now when I when I uh, you saw that I had the same layer for the Sputnik and for the bubbles and the bubble replaces the Sputnik image because it's on the same layer There's so what I have to do is I have to separate them. So I say that the bubbles should be on layer 11 instead. So now I can have both the Sputnik and the bubbles 
on the, so they are on top of each other. Uh, but I want to do all this at the same time. So what I can do is I can group these together. Group. And of course, if because I'm a nice person for myself in a way, uh, I name them. So let's call them uh, Sputnik name. And to be even more kind to myself, I add some notes of how I'm gonna execute this. So I press play because that's what I want to do. I just want to press play. So if I now press play, so it executed all the channels, all the layers. Uh, but I don't want it just to be cut in the, the, the Sputnik sign. I want to push it in during, I guess, 12 frames. Okay. So now it will be like this. Did you see? I run them one more time. Remove them and I press play now. Maybe I should delay the bubbles a bit. I can do that just by adding a delay, let's say. 10 frames could be nice so because the, the push was 12 frames and it feels like it should be 10 frames okay let's try it out now oh, too much I think we change it to like 7 frames Maybe eight. <laughs> eight frames will be good. Okay. Um, but I have to remove it in some way. Or I don't just want to cut it out. No, I want to fade it out. Okay, to do that, I had to add a solid color. And what that means is that on, on, on the same layer as the PNG, uh, I can replace that with a transparent image. It could be a transparent image. Now it's uh, like an, an asset in 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 uh, Casper, a solid color asset. So what I do with that, I tell it it should be on this server that I'm working with. It should be on layer ten for the test image. Layer ten. The color should be, it must be, black and transparent. And I moved into the group, like this. And I want to mix it. 12 frames, 12 frames. 12 frames, that's Swedish. 12 frames in English. Okay, so now it will be like this. Ah, you pretty much didn't see anything because the, the as you saw the solid color was executed at the same time as the the, the PNG I just moved up so you can see them together they started immediately but what I can do is I can delay the solid color and I want to delay it like four seconds that's 100 frames so if I now play it let's play it over the blue instead like this okay I play it now and it fades out neat 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 uh, okay uh, to what I can do more here, uh, pretty simple, is that I can... Ah, 10 minutes. 
I'll show the other things uh, another day. Uh, I will be making more templates um, for you to see uh, in a while. Uh. Yeah, good night.